All right, everybody, if you like stacking silver coins, then this video and series is for you. And stacking the Florida stack away does mean buying your gold and silver with cash you've already earned and not adding any debt, which is counterintuitive to holding non-interest bearing precious metals. Also, it's important for me to be buying your metals within a budget that you can afford on a set schedule to keep that discipline, right? So for me, that is about 250 US dollars every two weeks for silver, and that's what I've got to show you today. So let's take a look at seven more ounces of silver as we get ever so close to holding another 100 ounces in silver coins just here in a minute. Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on my video today. As a reminder to my new as well as OG channel subscribers, information on where to purchase gold and silver coins, rounds, or bars that are featured in Florida Stacker videos can be found in the video description section of today's video. There you will also find many protection and storage options for your growing stack. In full disclosure, I do have atmex.com as well as amazon.com affiliate links in the video description section and do receive some compensation for purchases you make using those links at no additional cost to you. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel and thank you all for using my links as well as subscribing and clicking that like button as it does help this channel continue to grow. Thank you very much, do appreciate that. And today we have seven ounces of silver from atmex.com and for this series, I've chosen to stack a tube of American Silver Eagles, Canadian Silver Maple Leafs, the British Silver Britannia, the South African Silver Cougarand, and the Australian Silver Kangaroo. Now, all five of these coins represent North America, Europe, Africa, and Australia, and are all very popular and widely known and accepted as silver bullion across the globe, which is very important today. What I am doing here on this channel, and in this series in particular, is known as stacking. And for those that are unfamiliar with stacking, stacking is the gradual accumulation of precious metals over time, such as these silver coins, where I establish a budget and I consistently make my purchases, which leads to owning a healthy size of silver and gold coins or bars, depending on your preference, over time. That's how you build your stack. Now, this isn't collecting, and the coins I'm pursuing are not considered collectible. I am also not offended by queens, kings, or any real or perceived grievance that, uh, uh, you know, between uh, different countries or, or cultures that honestly has nothing to do with me and has no real impact on my life, okay? I'm not offended by uh, any of the images on these coins. For me, it's about building a pile of wealth in the most recognized silver coins on earth, and that's exactly how I prefer to stack. Okay, today we're going to start out with the American Silver Eagle. And the American Silver Eagle does contain one ounce of three nines fine silver and is the sovereign silver coin of the United States of America. American Silver Eagles have a tremendously large following of both stackers as well as collectors and are arguably the most sought after bullion coins in the world. These coins were introduced by the U.S. Mint in 1986. This coin has undergone one significant update since that time, midway through the year 2021. These newer coins are referred to as the Type 2 American Silver Eagles and the originals now the Type 1, but make no mistake, they're both American Silver Eagles, both three nines fine silver, both backed by the full faith of the United States government, and it really doesn't matter when it comes to you know, the financial side of stacking silver. It's really just a preference on how the coin looks. American Silver Eagles carry the highest premium over spot of all the coins today, meaning you will pay a higher price over the prevailing silver spot price to purchase American Silver Eagles. Please note that when you do go to sell them, however, you'll also receive a higher premium over spot back on the sale side of that transaction, which is important to consider, uh, you know, when you're judging a coin by its premium, right? You got to make sure you understand the buy and the sell side of things. Now, I myself do own more American Silver Eagles than any other coin in my stack, and I intend to continue to buy them at around 20 to 40 ounces of American Silver Eagles per year. That is the current goal. Now, arguably the best of the bunch in terms of quality and price is the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf coin. These coins are thicker and they're uh, just slightly less, uh, you know, got a little less diameter than the American Silver Eagles and these other coins I'm going to show you today. So they do require a little bit different uh, size coin tube to hold them in to keep them from jiggling around. These coins are refined to about four nines fine and considered pure silver. 
They also carry several security features, including the radio lines you see on the obverse and reverse of the coin, which really does give out a quality reflection of light, in my opinion. I also personally like the mint's distinctive privy mark that does contain the number 22 for the 2022 coin release. And, um, you know, it's important to me to also note that all of the 2018 and newer Canadian Maple Leafs in silver, we're speaking of, feature the Royal Canadian Mint's Mint Shield technology, which inhibits the development of those nasty milk spots. Okay. Now, milk spots, for those of you that are unfamiliar with them, are the result of leftover detergent residue on the coin planchet, which is how the coin looks before it is actually struck with a design. The Royal Canadian Mint has overcome this issue with Mint Shield technology, which ensures not only a quality coin as far as its appearance coming from the mint, but that it will also not develop those milk spots into the future. This is it, number 20 now in this series for the 2022 Canadian Silver Maple. So we have completed this tube and I will happily move on to stacking a tube of 2023s. Moving toward the lower premium silver coin options today, we do look at the Silver Britannia from the United Kingdom. The silver version of the Britannia launched in 2007, behind that of the American Silver Eagle and Canadian Silver Maple Leaf, but has quickly grown in appeal due to the striking image, namely of Britannia. Dating back to Roman times, Britannia represents the strength, beauty, and integrity of the British people. The Britannia is a highly susceptible coin to milk spotting, however, which is a major turnoff for many stackers in this community but also contains many more security features than a lot of the other coins, which does help keep the Britannia from being counterfeited. Now, some like to joke that milk spots are actually the fifth security feature of the coin, because it does indicate that what you're looking at is a real silver coin, which of course is pretty important if you want to hold weight in silver. Now for 2023, we have the very last release on the obverse of Queen Elizabeth II. As you know, she did pass recently. And you can also find 2023 versions of this coin with King Charles III now on the obverse. Okay, let's move to the Australian Silver Kangaroo, which is the official bullion coin of Australia and is minted at the world famous Perth Mint in Western Australia. This coin is a striking tribute to the country's most recognizable animal, the kangaroo. Actually, I've never been down under before, but hope to make it there one day. And just like the maple leaf, it is refined to that four nines fine or pure silver, uh, you know, content factor there with those four nines fine stamped on the coin. The kangaroo also typically comes with a lower premium, making these coins more affordable to buy than the others, which has increased their popularity in the United States for stackers of late. And for those of you that are wondering, does it matter? Three nines fine, four nines fine. Usually, no. It really does kind of depend which area of the world that you live in, but uh, more so than that, it's really just up to the individual buyer what they want to buy and hold, okay? Three nines fine, four nines fine, it's all silver bullion. In 2016, however, they went to unlimited mintage, and once more, these coins are beginning to really grow in popularity for their value, a bit cheaper to buy, and recognizability for a four nines fine silver coin. So, it is one for stackers to consider. Okay, the last coin that we're going to look at today is the South African Silver Krugerrand, more famously known in gold, and originally debuted in 1967 in gold form. Uh, the iconic coin is relatively new when it comes to silver coins, with the first real bullion release taking place in 2018 for the Silver Krugerrand. So when it comes to silver coin stacking, the Silver Krugerrand is the newest of the bunch. Yes, uh, I'm aware, and I'm sure I'll see it in the comments section, that 2017 Krugerrands do exist, as well as a platinum 2017 coin, but that was mostly to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the 1967 gold Krugerrand, and those coins weren't really considered for mass, uh, you know, uh, unlimited mintage uh, bullion stackers like myself. So that's going to default to 2018. Now, similarly to the Australian Silver Kangaroo, the Krugerrand typically carries a lower premium over spot to purchase, making these coins more affordable for stackers to buy and hold today. The coin is minted in, uh, I almost said four, but three nines fine silver, so slightly less pure than that of the Kangaroo and the Canadian Maple Leaf. But like the Britannia, the Silver Krugerrand is subject to milk spotting, so please consider that if it does uh, you know, bother you to have some milk spots on your silver coins. 
The Krugerrand offers a very traditional design in a more kind of like simple matte silver appearance, which I honestly do like for its simplicity and cleanliness. To me, the silver Krugerrand is the opposite of the silver Britannia with its uh, busy features and more proof-like appearance. Here you get a simple design and it really shows not only the beauty of silver, but also how diverse the options are today for silver stackers looking to hold weight in silver coins. All right, guys, it's going to wrap this one up. And now we do sit at a healthy 78 ounces stack. So just 22 more ounces to go or about three more of these unboxing videos. Once more, thank you to appnext.com for sponsoring today's video. Thank you to all my viewers for being here today. And I do look forward to seeing you back again soon on another unboxing and video review of these beautiful silver precious metals coins. So thank you all for being here today. Once more, I'll see you again very soon. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.